Hey everyone, and welcome back to some more Civilization 6 Gathering Storm. So, I got the mod working again. There's actually a new modular version, but I'm going to finish this game with the current one because I don't want anything to break. Anyway, the last we left off, we were attacking Ephesus, or at least trying. We do have cords now. I don't think I want to wait for armies. Then again, we're not that far off. We only need mobilization, which is coming fairly soon. We should be able to get urbanization boost, or at least that's the general idea. I don't know, we'll see. I don't want them to repair the fortification, so if we don't want that to happen, we need to keep attacking the city. That's exactly what we'll do. Maybe bombard cords can do enough damage, we'll see about that. Also, the Mongols are still attacking. That should also be helpful. So, how's our income? 543. If we get 560 per turn, we could always buy a new Bombard per turn. That would be pretty good. Yeah, I don't want to send shaders to China. Let's send one to Lautaro. Free science, one production, 33 gold. I like that. Here you go. So that's 579. So now we can definitely buy one Bombard per turn. We could pretty much just throw away a few bombards just for the sake of taking the city. I mean, I'd rather throw away a few level 1 bombards than be stuck in the siege for a while. That's a better option, I think. Anyway, she's still coming at us. Okay. Can we finish off that field cannon? Not right now. Well, yeah, we can with cavalry, but that might not be the best idea ever. Which one of these guys can attack after moving? None of them, I don't think so. Alright, let's just wait one turn then. Yeah, I don't really want to move in. But if we are going to attack Ephesus with bombard cords, we should probably attack with two at the same time. So one can go here and one can go here. Technically, I could attack with three and then move in with cavalry to take the city itself. That is an option. I could move in like this with one, then here with another one, and here with the third one. There won't be any space left around the city or they're done in the back, but I can always just move out once the city is down to nothing and move in with cavalry. That's probably the best way to go. But we might want to wait for one more merge. So this fella right here. Okay, we can merge him on the next turn. Anyway, production. One turn to finish the arena? Sure, we might as well do that. What about the builder? Oh, and we got a great person. Nice. Okay, sure, why not? We'll get some great works. Let's maybe get a lumber mill or two. How's housing in here? 8 out of 11. Alright then. We also still need one more mine to the north. Let's go get the mine then. And then we can get two lumber mills. Maybe even three lumber mills? No, that tile belongs to Lautaro. But this one can be ours. Okay, oh, and we need some repairs apparently, really? We still got spies in here, come on now. That's really starting to get on my nerves. But, alright, whatever. I guess we'll repair all of that. And then build a workshop. Fine. What are our spies doing anyway? Stealing tech boost and yeah, traveling to Athens. Well, alright. We did have one spy with a counter espionage promotion. Should probably use him. There was a guy that would protect every single district, if I remember right. Anyway. Yeah, this city is a little bit low on production, but we could still get some field cannons. Because we'll need those for armies anyway. Might as well, I don't see why not. Five builds on this fella. Oh yeah, he was supposed to get whatever these are called, city parks. Let's do that then. Because Liang will be staying here. Because of the volcano. That's just the best city for Liang. Alright, let's get the great works. Maybe we could get the thieving bonus, we'll see about that. 
and I'm not doing anything else here. Not right now. Let's maybe move the field cannon slightly. Well, there isn't really enough space around here. He can go here, I suppose. Yep, our space is a little bit limited. If only this one single mountain wasn't here, this would be way easier. If this mountain didn't exist. I don't care about all the others, but it's just this single one that makes this annoying. So is this guy going to do anything? Yes, he's going to die. <laughs> I think, at least. I kind of want to repair this bombard right here. So... I don't know about this. I want to merge it with the other one. That's why we're here. That also gives us mobilization boost. Now we just need 15 population. Oh, the resource icons are gone, damn it. Yeah, I felt something is, is off. And apparently it is. And they are technically turned on. They just aren't there. Well then. Yeah, I had this happen before. But... This is slightly annoying. So what I think I'm going to do is harvest the wheat. Because I need 15 population for the boost. So let's just do that, it's fine. Yeah, this is going to be slightly annoying. I can probably fix it, but we'll see. So, what's next? Can't really build a coal power plant yet, because we don't have coal yet. Might as well build a zoo, I guess, but 17 turns is a little bit much. 15 turns for a military academy and 17 turns for a zoo. Well... Let's get the military academy then. Alright, sure. And send the musket man north or leave him here? I think we have enough mala over here. Well, no, he will be needed for courts and armies. Let's send him north then. Here's another great work. And we can get the oil. Here we go. That also gives us plastics boost. And we'll get access to infantry on the next turn. That should help quite a bit. We could probably attack the city with infantry. That should do some really nice damage right there. Also, I think we can kill that field cannon. Yes, we can. Nice one. Alright then. So, let's move in. Hold on. Who will go where? Might be best to wait a turn or two to repair that bombard a bit. And maybe get at least one infantry around here. We got a musket man here. But it's not even a core yet. And the other musket man is quite far away. What do you want? Yeah, whatever you say. And, and we got replaceable parts. Oh yeah, our spy was actually captured, which is slightly annoying. We can probably get him back. Maybe. Yeah, they already have that. I could sell some nighter. I want that spy back. So, how much do you want? Okay, fine. What about just gold? Because, I mean, we can afford it. Alright, fine. I'll pay for the spy. There he is. He doesn't have any promotions. Is the other guy. He's in transit currently. Let's just use him for now. There's an enemy spy right here. Well, I mean, it's technically not an enemy, but there is a spy over there. So let's go for counter espionage. Right here. Okay, that will also protect the adjacent districts. So it will protect the Soguba. But also the holy site, the industrial zone. We should be fine. As for the research... Oh yeah, let's grab sanitation for the sewer, because we kind of need that. We need that badly. So there it is, and it's already boosted. So, repair library and the university. And then we can build the workshop. 
So, 290 gold for infantry. Yeah, that's not a problem. I guess we could send this guy to the front. But hold on, let's not move into the city's bombardment range just yet. I just want to promote this guy first. And that's also plus two era score. Yeah, this should be a big help. I'm not even going to wait for the core. We should be fine. He has 70 trade. So now, let's see. Yeah, I need to start moving in with one bombard. Kind of. We'll do it on the next turn. Maybe the city will target the infantry. That's what I wanted to do. And not the bombards. So now we can harvest the wheat. And that should give us 15 population. There it is. So that also gives us urbanization boost. And we can replace this with the city park. That will be best. It has fresh water, so it will be better than the other parks. And we are getting pretty close to armies. Hopefully we'll be able to take Ephesus. And then we could go for Sparta, but we'll see. Let's not get ahead of ourselves just yet. What's going on here? City-state emergency passed. I don't think we care about that all that much. Here's urbanization. We don't need the policies, we just need the neighborhood. And I don't think I want to change anything. No, these are fine. Yeah, repair the university, obviously. And we could build the neighborhood right away, and we probably should. By probably, I mean we definitely 100% should. It will only be a plus four, but I suppose that's fine. Let's build it here, that's just a regular grassland. Okay, that will do. Oh, and amenities. We might want to buy some luxuries if possible. Can we buy any luxuries? Yeah, we already have that. Poundmaker, you got anything? Yes, you do actually. Okay. And what do you want in exchange? Some gold? I can give you some gold. Here. 250? 200... yeah, 200 ish. Yeah, that's a good deal. Works for me. Anyone else? Citrus, we have that already. I don't think we can buy anything else. Maybe from Korea? Oh yeah, diamonds. Here. Okay, that will do. And we'll give her some gold. That will be just fine. Here, Amanitis should be fine now. And we can still buy Jade from the Mongols. Why the heck not? Might as well do that and give him incense in return. And maybe even some gold? Yeah. 20 gold? Why the heck not? Here you go. Okay, that should solve the amenity problem. Now, let's do this. Nice warrior, Gorgo. What are you planning to do with it? Well then, this is actually a little bit annoying. Because I was going to move in. Now we should probably kill him instead. That sounds like a good idea, yes. Alright, let's just move in. Yeah, so we got two field cannons. This is going to be really annoying to deal with. But, I mean, we have to do it. We will get mobilization in eight turns. So, worst case scenario, we'll use some armies. I would be okay with that, I guess. Okay, let's move in with the melee. I just want to prevent her from repairing the fortification, because that would be bad if she did that. That would be really bad. More cords. Alright. And I could merge the cavalry. These guys are only level 2. Yeah, let's just do it. Here. That will be just fine. Can't really attack from here. I really don't want to be in range of Corinth. Like, seriously. I don't want that. 
so I think I'll pass. I could technically move in like this, but that is such a terrible idea. That is a really bad idea. Let's not do that. I bet they will target the Bombard though. But oh well, I suppose we'll see about that. So this is the guy. I think... no, it's not. Wait, thought, I thought I had a promotion where a spy would protect every district, but maybe I'm mistaken. Okay, doesn't matter. Let's steal a boost. Yep, let's do that. I wouldn't mind. Certainly. And now we can go get the lumber mills. Oh yeah, we don't have enough gold for that, but we will on the next turn. Uh, that was supposed to be the park. But we can grab the lumber mill anyway. Also, we are about to finish Alhambra, right? On the next turn. Yes, wait, no, we already finished. No, did we lose it? Did we miss out on Alhambra? Because it was literally one third away from completion. Apart from the hold on, hold on. I think we missed out on Alhambra. What the heck? Yeah, Dido built it. Are you serious right now? It was literally one turn away. What the heck? I was convinced we'll get that one. But apparently we did not. That is not very nice, Dido. It's not very nice at all. Stealing people's wonders like that. That was my wonder. It hide my name on it. Well, okay, and that Bombard didn't get a chance to do a whole lot, but it got a promotion. So that's going to be useful. Let's move into the city. And we'll pick up shells. And then we'll get expert crew, but that might take a while. First, let's take care of these. And we can pillage. Yeah, that's only gold. It will not heal me. And he might actually die if I stay here. See, this is so annoying. I think I'm actually going to need armies here. Yeah, I don't want to lose infantry. We got the other musket man coming. So he can merge with the infantry. I just need more gold. I think we'll need bombard armies and then move in with three at the same time. That's the only way this is going to happen. I just don't see any other way. So, next up, we could go for steel and unlock artillery. Now, that would definitely help. I think we need that. Definitely. Another thing that would help is the observation balloon. I actually think the observation balloon would be more helpful than artillery right now. Because that would give us plus one range. And I could attack the city from outside of its range. So how about we do that? And flight is already boosted. We'll go for flight and then for steel. I don't think steel will be boosted because it needs a coal mine and an ironclad. Not ore. So we got another great person. Oh, Eureka moment for free random technologies from atomic or information era. That is nice. We might get some that require either a spy or a great scientist. What did we get? Computers, composites, and combined arms. Yeah, that's not too bad, actually. Alright then. So, what's next? Wait, what? Three out of two housing, really? Okay then. I would buy a granary, but I kind of need the gold right now. We'll just build it, it's fine. This guy? Right, we got four builds on him. I was going to buy this tile, but I constantly need gold for other things. We'll get the other lumber mill. Alright, we might as well wait for that observation balloon, I think. Not quite sure how quickly we can get one, but that's basically what we need here. This is way too many notifications. Oh, come on! They're siphoning gold still. Even though I have a counter spy in here. That's really starting to get on my nerves. 
and her target is no longer valid. Okay. Well, let's gain sources and then we could try the Great Work Heist. Can we ask him to not spy on us? See, I can't even do that! Which is even more annoying. Because he's clearly doing it. But I can't ask him to stop? What the heck? Well then! We should be able to kill that field cannon. Well, yeah, I guess so. She's actually attacking pretty aggressively. Like, what the heck is going on? I'm the one who's supposed to be attacking, not other way around. What are you doing, Gorgo? Please stop! Let's move in with that field cannon core. And with the cavalry, maybe? Okay, something like this. I think that's all I can really do right now. Yeah, pretty much. We still need the gold. This is getting extremely annoying with that spy over there. There's not much else I can do about it. I have a counter spy. That's about the extent of what I can do. Let's grab that workshop. And some swords. Yeah, 11 turns. Neighborhood first. Because that will be more housing in one go. Yeah, we can get a plus 5, but this style is already improved. It will have to be a plus 4. It's just a regular desert. We won't be building anything else on that desert. But let's use this one instead. Just to keep the tile next to the city center open. Here. Okay, that will do. Anything else? Let's grab that city park real quick. And the lumber mill. Alright, give me my balloon and artillery. Oh, yep, yeah, they repaired the fortification. So now we definitely need artillery. <laughs> it wasn't going to happen without that, I don't think so. And that balloon. I could just peace out and then declare war again, but there's no reason to. We are getting good experience out of this. So I'm okay with this. Experience is always good. And here's another great person. Plus one level of diplomatic visibility with all other civilizations. Uh, that's not amazing, but fine, why not? It's not terrible. Here. Seriously, they are still siphoning? Are you kidding me right now? Get that spy out of here. Well, what's next here? Neighborhood? Do we even have a tile for that? Yeah, this one I guess. I have to buy it. Here, neighborhood. So, yep, I still can't upgrade the musket, man. Let's just move. They need to move anyway. And we'll be waiting for the balloon. We are about to finish flight. Let's kill the field cannon. Yeah, hold on. Maybe back up. And use the field cannon instead. I could attack with cavalry. It should be fine. Here. And I'm actually considering pillaging this district. It will slow down her research. And it doesn't look like we'll be capturing that city very quickly. To say the least. Probably not, no. And you know what? Let's send these guys north. It's not like we need them down here. We most certainly do not. So, lumber mill and the park. Here. How are the yields on that one? Oh, they are actually the same. Yeah, that's fine. Four culture from one tile is nice. Our culture is doing better now. And what did we lose? Didn't quite catch it. What was it? Oh, cavalry. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. If you can walk away from a landing. It's a good and the dirt's flight. Wait, was it cavalry? No, it wasn't. Oh, it was the field cannon. Okay, now that's annoying. But alright. She's actually being really aggressive. But now we have the observation balloon, or rather we have the tech. I don't think I can buy one without the aerodrome. Pretty sure I can't. Well, no, I actually can. Except I don't have the gold. 
because it's being siphoned, like, constantly. And there's nothing I can do about it. I have a counter spy, I can't ask him to stop. It's really irritating. <laughs> Let's extend the alliances. Like so. All of them. Research alliance with Lautaro. Economic, cultural, let's check the other people. Yeah, that has to be economic. Because she has the other types already. Here. Okay, that will do. Well, I guess I have to wait another turn. Oh, steel is busted. Oh yeah, did we get that from the great scientist? I think so. Instantly builds a factory and a workshop in this district. Factories provide plus two production. I could actually use that in my capital. I think that's what I'm going to do. We only have one turn of the workshop completed. Or maybe like two turns. Yeah, let's grab that guy. If only for the plus two production. For all factories. And what's next? Neighborhood, probably. 8 out of 11 and occupied. Or a unit. How quickly can we get something? Yeah, I need the gold. We could build a dam. It will take a while, but it's definitely worth it. Yeah, alright, let's build one. It's worth it. Certainly. As for our capital, well, the plan is to buy the observation balloon, but we could start one just in case. I'm actually kind of considering it. Still, right now we need a neighborhood district. Looks like plus four will be the best one. So I'll just use a regular desert for that. Not that we have any other options. We can get a plus five. That will do. Alright, so here's the guy. We'll use him for our capital. Here you go. And that infantry will have to wait from the looks of it. Let's pillage this. Maybe promote first. Because he might actually die. Okay, promote first. If he takes too much damage, we'll withdraw. We got three more builds. That forest is already within our borders. And one more build on this fella. Can we get one more park? Yes, we can. I assume we can get one on the desert. I don't see why not. Or we can get one down here. Fine. This is a very weird war. Oh, is she still at war with Poundmaker? Yes, she is. He doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot. It's just that she has a lot of mountains that are helping her. That's the actual problem. Oh yeah, that's a new bombard. We will get mobilization in three turns. So I'll use that to get an artillery army. We can get an artillery army in four turns. And hopefully we'll be able to buy that balloon by then. And then we can start bombarding Ephesus properly, without taking any damage back. She wants to buy horses and iron. Yeah, sure, why the heck not? I can certainly do that. And we'll buy marble. And some gold. We need gold, come on. At this rate, I might sell some of my other resources. We are capped on nitre. Probably best if we sell some. Yeah, our gold per turn is going down. I think we lost one of the deals that we made after a war. Moderate flood. Oh, that's actually pretty nice. Alright then. That's way too many notifications. Just remove those. So, let's sell something, shall we? Who doesn't have capped niter? Poundmaker does. Wait, does he? No, he actually doesn't. Yeah, he has literally one. How much are we willing to sell? Let's say, I don't know, 40? 
How much will he pay? Oh, he won't pay a whole lot. But I need the gold. Fine. Let's sell that. I just need the gold. Oh, our trade routes expired. That's what's happening. Right, fair enough. Let's send them again. Here, that's one. Let's just go for the best ones. We'll send one to Lautaro. We can send one to Antioch. Not that it really makes a difference, to be honest. Here you go. And the last one. We could send one to China. I mean, they don't exactly like us. But we could send one. It's just one trade route, it's fine. Okay. It's happening soon. What do we spend gold for first? Uh, the balloon. Okay, let's grab the balloon. And we can start attacking right away. We don't have to wait for artillery. Here we go. I think we can attack already. Because the balloon is technically there. It doesn't need actual movement points. It just needs to be there. So. Attack this fella. And then the other bombard. We'll just use this tile right here. Okay. And we can move another bombard into the city. And use it to attack other units. Because this is too far away from the city itself. But it's close enough to attack the field cannon to the west, for example. So this should be fine. Is Korea also at war with Gorgo? I think so. Where's Korea? Yeah. She is. Well, that's good. And apparently the city is under siege. Oh yeah, that's because there's a unit up here. Okay, Poundmaker is being more aggressive now. That's good. I just need him to stop spying on me. Come on, bro. Give me that factory. So that will speed things up. And that will also give us plus two production to all factories. One last city park. That's going to be quite a bit of culture in here. We won't be working all of them, but, well, I mean, we could? Look at the housing. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of bad. But I need that university repaired first. Here. Let's do it like this. It's not like the city will be growing. Not really. This way we'll be working all the culture tiles. Sounds good to me. One more lumber mill. And let's make some progress, finally. Now we definitely will, with that observation balloon. That's exactly what we needed. And merge some units. These guys. Here you go. Alright, and looks like we need some repairs. Where's the closest builder? There's a builder inside the city. Okay, now the AI is actually helping us. Good. Go Korea! And Poundmaker. So let's grab that builder and repair things. We got another envoy. I'm not going to use the envoys. Well, we could get one more city-state. Kind of. There's some competition for Vilnius now. Let's not do that then. We'll get six envoys. For the final bonus. But I'll keep the others, just in case we lose one of the city-states. So, it's time to get serious about this. We will get artillery in two turns. Hopefully we'll have the gold for that. This guy is seriously getting on my nerves now. There are two spies in here now. I don't know what's up with that. Oh, we got a promotion. Oh yeah, this one, polygraph. If this spy is in home territory, enemy spies in your lands operate at one level below usual. One thing we could do is switch the policies. Because we could take a policy that makes it harder for enemy spies to operate in our lands if we have them unlocked yet. Yeah, we don't actually have them unlocked yet, but we could unlock them. Let's finish mobilization first and we'll see if we can do something that will make it harder for enemy spies. So, let's do this. 
Yeah, this won't take long now. This is what we needed all along, to be honest. Yep. So, should we just move in right away? Where's the strongest melee unit? Yeah, that would be the infantry, once we actually get the infantry. Here. I suppose I could always just sell something to get the gold. Hopefully that won't be necessary. Now that Korea is actually helping us a little bit, this should be fine. Not to mention we also have cavalry over here. And we should be able to attack with a bombard. With one more bombard. Well, I mean, I could move in here. The fortification is gone. There's just a field cannon inside. But it will target one of our units regardless. Yeah, that was not a whole lot of damage. The city is basically ours now. There's no way she can prevent us from taking it now. How are we doing with wards fair? Oh, we are actually number one. Nice. Major flood, but it's mitigated. When they are Plus one error score, and there's mobilization. Nice one. And we won the gold reward. Nice. Very nice. So, next civic. What can we do to help our countered spies? Well, we kind of need ideology one way or the other. Yeah, I guess we'll need that. Not quite what I'm looking for right now. But we need that. Yeah, we'll need to progress slightly further down the tree. This is what we could use, for example. Cryptography. But that will have to wait. Can we research radio? I mean, obviously we can. And we probably should. I don't think I'll be building a national park in the nearest future. And we definitely want to reveal aluminum on the map. We don't need combustion right now. We could, however, use chemistry. Because that will unlock the research lab, the AT crop, and also the mountain tunnel. I really miss early game tunnels we had as the Inca. In the Inca game. That was so good. But let's maybe wait with mass media. Then again, it's not like we have a lot of other options. We can get started on conservation. I can't actually build a neighborhood with breathtaking appeal. So we might as well just research conservation. Oh yeah, that's going to be a better policy. Here we go. And that's pretty much it. I'm definitely keeping rationalism. And I'm still keeping public works because we still need that. So, can we take this stupid city by now? Yes, let's do that. I could merge... Oh yeah, with this fella? Probably a good idea. Yeah, let's get an army. Right away. That's also plus two era score. I will check the era score in just a moment. Yep, this is definitely happening. Okay. So, merge these. We can finally take this stupid city. It's been long enough. Honestly, I might actually go for Sparta now, because she really annoyed me with all this. There's the spy, so he will be a counter-spy, obviously. In the Suguba. So, there you go. Hopefully that will actually work. I need it to work. We got two more builds. We can just get two farms to get plus one housing. And once we get the coal, we'll build a few coal power plants. We kind of need those by now. I will need more than one source of coal. So I think we need to go for Sparta. But there let's take Ephesus first, not hard. get ahead of ourselves. There's artillery. Enemy spy? No, we gained sources. Okay, so what can we do? Great work heist, 84%. Let's try that. It might work. Alright, let's attack then. We can take the city on the next turn. Just don't let Korea do it, because that would be a bit awkward. Yeah, let's move in. Attack one more time. Can we take it now? Yeah, it's ours. I don't even need to attack with that other unit. We can promote it instead. 
Yep, it's ours. Let's take it. There we go. And we can use city bombardment right away. I will obviously keep the city. So now we could go for Sparta. It shouldn't even be too hard, because we have access to artillery. I just need actual gold. And we got another governor title. So what do we want to pick up here? Let's take a look. Oh, probably Magnus. I'll want vertical integration eventually. But I think I'll go for surplus logistics instead of provision and black marketeer. We don't really need black marketeer anymore. At least I don't think so. Industrialist can actually be quite nice. Especially with limited resources. Like we have. Anything better we can pick up? Oh yeah, we could also pick up defense logistics for Victor. That would be way better, actually. We could really use that plus one. Okay, let's get that. Where is he currently, anyway? Where the heck is he? Right here. Yeah, there are no icons, so I can't quite tell if the city has any strategic resources. But let's move him to the city we just captured. We kind of need him there anyway. So, might as well. And we know there's coal here, because that was the whole point of taking it. Off you go then. And I think we'll go after Sparta. Is loyalty here fine? Yeah, it's fine. However, that's going to be the end of this episode. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, or a dislike if you didn't. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.